Okay, how is it going? Uh, I'm gonna be taking a look at <laughs> uh, Prudential Regulatory Authority and what uh, this authority does within the United Kingdom, what are uh, some of the, uh, this authority's responsibilities. Uh, if anything, I'm still uh, looking at uh, financial industry and what would be responsible uh, government bodies who would oversee fun or financial authorities perhaps uh, I'm still trying to fit within different definitions right so financial authority who would oversee some of perhaps blockchain projects if anything and what definition of blockchain project can fit with financial authority is it financial authority <laughs> again so I don't know I don't know <laughs> perhaps because since there's uh, some token that could be uh, held as a type of value so perhaps I'm trying to fit within different definitions. So I covered one in my previous video that with the FCA, uh, Financial Authority within UK, and now I'm taking a look at uh, Prudential Regulatory Authority, PRA, within UK, and uh, if uh, any of those authorities I need to reach out to before doing anything. The Prudential Regulatory Authority, PRA, is a regulatory body in the United Kingdom responsible for overseeing and regulating financial institutions to ensure their stability and soundness uh, of all operations <laughs> running nice and smooth, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, I guess. <laughs> soundness, but either way. Uh, it operates as a subsidiary of Bank of England and was established as a part of the post-financial crisis reforms following 2008 global financial crisis. Oh, okay, so they have taken some action, which is great. Uh, I'm trying to understand a little bit, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not giving enough credit, perhaps, because uh, what actually happens, right? So people are building different systems. Usually there can be... 100 people, 200 people, and they constantly moving and changing businesses the same. It uh, goes with some of the legislations, uh, policies, everything was being introduced by governments, and how we need to change business at the time. So I understand this <laughs> side of things, of operating business, something I understand. <laughs> I don't know how I'm coming across, but it's very hard. I'm not, <laughs> it's very hard, I'm not giving enough credit how hard it can be. And you need to have a group of people who would know what to do as well as sometimes you might be able to hire new interns. <laughs> you need to train them and still look after your responsibility to the organization. So you know a million things that can go wrong, right? Sometimes when things go wrong, perhaps uh, myself, I would like to you, people to answer some questions, right? <laughs> so why the things went wrong, right? What we can do about them, <laughs> prevent it from happening in the future, if anything. But if there uh, was any authorities uh, or actions been taken, uh, if anything, other people might be interested in finding out more. Perhaps uh, there is not enough information out there uh, uh, to understand or prevent perhaps similar problems of happening in the future. If there would be a new company that I would set up, right? Or if we were trying to uh, venture a new industry, or if uh, a workload would increase for perhaps four times, and I would need to hire, or p people with necessary skills, I'm not necessarily would be able to source those people, I might need to train those people sometimes, for people to bring up to speed on my might take six months, right? There would be a backlog a log of issues that would come into place as well as workload might be a massive. So I understand some of the issues, perhaps. Uh, it's not enough time to cover everything in detail, but I do understand some of the issues, perhaps. Some organizations, government organizations, or private co companies, well, they might have, right? So what I'm saying, I do understand those. <laughs> The PRA primary objective is to promote safety and soundness of the banks, insurances and major investment firms. It achieves this by setting and enforcing uh, prudential, I don't know about this word, but <laughs> what they're trying to achieve with this word, but either way, <laughs> I would disagree about this word if anything, but either way, either way. <laughs> We are looking to achieve prudential standards. Conducting risk assessment. 
and supervising um, activities of these institutions, if anything. The PRA focuses on uh, information that I managed to find. There would be six different areas, but again, all information that I'm sharing here, not necessarily most up-to-date, accurate information. But uh, if anything, I'm just uh, happy to some extent that some actions were taken because there was a major shift happening in the world and the, the people or institutions, government institutions have taken some actions. So if anything, and uh, the takeaways, uh, let's be more positive. <laughs> be more positive. <laughs> some actions were taken. So that's a good thing. I didn't know. I haven't known that. I was too busy. Uh, sometimes that happened as well. Yeah, I didn't have the time to take a look at what actions were taken at the time. Uh, some of those focuses would be the first one, capital adequacy. Again, and I'm not necessarily agree with this word. I see what people are doing, but <laughs> I'm not disagree with, with this word. But either way, the PRA ensures that financial institutions maintain sufficient capital reserves. <laughs> are they really? Perhaps uh, this is since 2008. I don't know uh, if uh, other people have noticed since 2021 uh, within US, the uh, banks don't need to hold anything. It's zero. So <laughs> it's zero, right? <laughs> so I, think, uh, <laughs> I don't know how well this company is doing, <laughs> organization, government organization is doing, but uh, capital uh, advocacy. So we, uh, when it comes to reserves, uh, some of the laws in US that I'm aware of has been changed to zero. <laughs> uh, sufficient capital reserves to absorb losses and continue operating in the event of adverse economic conditions or financial stress. As some within US have pointed out about liquidity, how much liquidity those banks might have instead of perhaps uh, having a lot of uh, properties or so so quote unquote value and not enough liquidity but either way the loss has been changed and it's zero so so far this government body is doing very well <laughs> so far it's been changed laws been changed to zero <laughs> number two risk management it assess and monitors the risk management practices of financial institutions to identify and mitigate potential risk to the stability of financial systems. So risk management is uh, some of the <laughs> measures <laughs> those organizations uh, or government organizations should take. Risk management, which, which is great. <laughs> Next one, uh, number three, would be liquidity. The PRA supervised liquidity risk, ensuring that institutions have enough liquidity assets to meet their short-term obligations. So yeah, I have noticed that a lot of people pointing out as well that a lot of banks not necessarily perhaps they would have a lot of value on their balance sheets, but not in, uh, enough liquidity. Uh, this is some of the risk, <laughs> perhaps part of the risk, right? So <laughs> uh, number four, governance and controls. It sets standards for governance. <laughs> internal controls and risk management practices within financial institutions to ensure effective oversight and decision making okay so they they do trying the best and it comes to having enough control but i don't know i don't know so <laughs> how they actually gonna implement that so we're talking about private companies so they would uh, oversee or you need to disclose that information how you're managing the organization as well as they need to monitor that your management of organization i don't know i don't know uh, how they're gonna enforce that but either way either way uh <laughs> let, let's keep on going uh, number five resolution planning the pra uh, requires financial institutions to develop plans to the orderly uh, resolutions in the event of insolvency minimizing disruption in the broader financial systems they are having uh, contingency plans in place, right? So whatever, if, uh, hopefully not, but if something would go south, I guess, <laughs> not necessarily the way how things should go, right? What uh, those companies, what contingency plans they would have in place. Uh, I have had to fill in so many of those. So it's good 
that some action has been taken, and so I guess, <laughs> I, I guess there's something, people are doing something. Uh, number six, and the last one, uh, conduct regulations. While the PRA's primary focus is prudential regulations, it also collaborates with Financial Conduct Authority, something that I covered in the previous video of uh, some of the responsibilities of Financial Conduct Report. Uh, authority and what the responsibilities of this government body I'm right now covering different uh, government institutions and uh, what it has to do with prudence and uh, some of the standards as well to address issues related to conduct uh, regulations such as consumer protection and market integrity uh, so there there is some organizations there who are looking all after uh, what would be the best uh, course of action or preventing some of the issues that happened in the past. Uh, people out there who are interested in learning more, I have published a book. Uh, there's going to be a series of books that I'll look into the release. That, uh, in this book, I'm focusing on livestock enterprise and where to begin when they're setting up and launching your own first business. In particular, I'm focusing a lot on the first milestone that would be from zero to first. 10,000. Uh, in the book, I'm talking about pounds, but it works the same for dollars, euros, whatever currency you might be. Uh, it's a substantial milestone, right? $10,000 or equal amount of that. Uh, that would be everything what you would need to know when starting your own for, uh, first enterprise, uh, all the market research that you would need to do. If anything, uh, there can be too much information as uh, hopefully not conflicting information then that potentially can help you to start where to begin what information you would need to know. You can learn from that as well as uh, it can potentially offer you a lot of value when starting uh, your first enterprise. You can find this book in the description below as well as the read that it's added. The PRA works in conjunction with FCA to regulate financial services in the United Kingdom. The FCA primarily focuses on protecting consumers and ensuring the integrity of financial markets, while the PRA focuses on pr uh, prudential supervision of financial institutions. Uh, I don't know, it's just sometimes uh, those people out there, they are very common sense people, that's my own takeaway. I don't know how I'm coming across, some of the people I do understand what they're doing over there, I don't know how I'm coming across. Some people do understand uh, what they're doing, <laughs> especially when it comes to licensing some of the business and what would be requirements to achieve those licenses and perhaps to operate within different regions. Some do understand very well, <laughs> the takeaway, right? Uh, so uh, there's additional perhaps uh, layer of protection, if anything, when it comes to financial operations. But I don't know. I, uh, I wish they would take more actions, particularly to address some of the issues that happened in the past, especially how some of those businesses are performing right now. So I guess there's a lot of things that they haven't done it yet. Perhaps it's on the to-do list, right? If any takeaways. The PRA activities are essential for maintaining financial stability and protecting the interests uh, of depositors, policyholders, and the broader financial system. It plays a crucial role in preventing systematic crisis and managing the risk associated with financial industry in the United Kingdom. So if there were a lot of businesses who would like to start banking, right, perhaps there could be something like uh, PRA which could be assessing a lot of businesses who would like to build the new technology side. Perhaps that would be another way of how to do it. The additional layer of protection when setting up another 1,000 different businesses, right? And perhaps uh, looking to address some of the issues that haven't been highlighted previously with uh, traditional banking institutions, right? So that might be another way of looking. It depends on uh, many things, right? Perhaps that's uh, one way to look at it. Instead of uh, instead of having everything very centralized, perhaps there would be another way of taking a look at how better to operate and solve an issue. So all the people are going to solve the same problem, depending on the uh, best way of doing it. And uh, sometimes you need to set up additional <laughs> Uh, body of protection for whatever reason that might be, but it's good that they have taken some actions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one